Welcome to It is Brian Paradine, the Senior Trader, Co-Founder, Professional Stock Trader, Live.com. I'm bringing in a closing commentary for Wednesday, Fed Wednesday, actually. Statement was left unchanged. Uh, they actually made a couple of positive comments about housing and, and a few other things, but nonetheless, the market surged after the report, pressed the 9900 plus area, and then reversed and closed itself down. 81 points in the day, closing at 97.48. We've been putting on alert here over the last couple of days. We've been doing these updates. We finally came back. We started doing them again for you YouTubers. Been so busy here, but we're coming back here. We're going to continue doing these updates at least on a daily basis. We'll try and do them a little bit more if we have time, but uh, I can't, can't, can't promise you that. But in any event, what we're talking about here, Sean Rosh Hashanah, Bali, Yom Kippur, well, it doesn't really matter whether that happens or not. The bottom line is this market should go into corrective mode. Now, having said that, you had a big outside down day. You had a higher high today. You had a lower low, both from yesterday's high prices and lower prices, and you had a lower close. You had an expanding volume. That's a classic outside down to reversal. The market should head lower based on this. Now, we might have a little bit more downside activity here in the next day or two, and then you might see some month end buying come back into the market because, you know, portfolio managers might want to square positions, and then you might start selling off and new again. I think 9,900 sometime in the, in the month of October is a very doable number. It shouldn't surprise you here. If you take a look at the airline index, the airline index was trading up over 30 towards the 31 layer area. It's pulled back and now into the 28s. Well, that's already had an 8% correction off the top. So why, why couldn't you see at least an 8% correction from the Dow off its high point? I think it only makes sense here up at these uh, stratospheric levels. You take the market pair bond from here, I think it's absolute danger, danger, danger going forward. If you have some type of corrective activity, that's the bullish alternative to pull this market back. That's what I think should happen. We can't, we can't tell you that it will happen, but that's what should happen. A little bit of a um, saying this should come back to the market here. So going into tomorrow, I want to share with you um, a couple of ideas here. But having said that, did you take a look and see what happened to YRCW today? Take a look. I'm looking right here. Five dollars and eighty-six cents of a dollar fifty-one. This is an idea we shared with you early in the morning, pre-market. The stock absolutely flew. If you're looking for these types of ideas, or you're looking to learn technical analysis, I beg of you, go to our site. Sign up for the one-week trial. You've got nothing to lose. It is absolutely free. No credit cards. Nothing like that. Once you sign up, you watch your live webcast and you see how much you can learn here, how much you can make on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Following us with our daily trades, you're going to see, geez, I wish I had signed up for this, for this service here months and months ago. I can promise you that. Again, YRCW, $5.86. We talked about this on our pre-open comment. Go back, take a look at the video from this morning. Um, you, you know, these are the kind of ideas that we share with our members here on a daily basis. Uh, today was just an absolute rocket on this talk. Very, very pleased by that. Heading into tomorrow, I want to share with you one idea. Actually, two. Um, Deckers, D-E-C-K, Decker Outdoor. Stock is on a 13-day run without a lower low. The stock pressed to 85-plus area. Jam overbought. Um, this stock to me is on a reversal alert as far as I'm concerned. I may initiate some uh, uh, short positions on it tomorrow or I may initiate a put position here. But this stock is absolutely gone pure bottom. Uh, as you saw the market reverse today, there will be a day where Decker, uh, and, I, and I hope Decker actually opens higher tomorrow so I can short the stock, run my stop above today's highs, give myself a little bit of breathing room for the stock to reverse. But one of these days it's just going to gap up and it's going to reverse and it's going to head south. And it won't surprise me if the stock is back in the mid 70s here in the next uh, three to five weeks. Again, this is just my opinion, but this stock is so, so overstretched. D-E-C-K. One other stock I want to share with you is Apollo. I like the way Apollo acted here today into this big dive here. The stock uh, held up here. It held a 200-day moving average. Here's a stock. If you get it back towards 70 or the upper 69s, I would look to be a buyer in this stock here as it broke out, busted through the 200-day Push 75 on a one-day uh, big, huge move. Now, whether it was just short squeeze activity or not, I, I don't really think it was. Um, there were some positive comments made out of Congress for these uh, um, educational stocks. So the stock flew, took off to the upside. Now it's backed off. If it can hold the 200-day moving average, which represents right around that 70 area, that makes me more and more bullish of stock. So I would look to be a buyer of this stock into any early morning weakness, especially if the overall market is getting hit and this stock is held, holding up very well. But this is a stock I would look to have on your long side radar as it pulls back into the 200-day moving average around that 70 area. Beyond that, I've got nothing else to say other than go up with your trading, go to our site, professionalstocktradelive.com, take the trial. I know you'll enjoy it. 
Have yourselves a great evening, and thanks for tuning in.